Good morning. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. Please stand. As we light the candles of this week, may their light reflect the splendor of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. as we start the new stage of our pilgrimage. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge now our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we, we have sinned sin against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Grant us your salvation. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds and his coming. So that gathered in his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. In the first reading, Jeremiah's oracle is about the Messiah who will rise from the house of David. This is fulfilled in Jesus, who is descended from David according to the flesh and the Son of God, who by virtue of his resurrection will establish justice. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and Judah. In those days, in that time, I will raise up for David a just shoot. He shall do what is right and just in the land. In those days, Judah shall be saved. And Jerusalem shall dwell secure. This is what they shall call her, the Lord, our justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus, 
with all His holy ones. Amen. Finally, brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Show us, Lord, your love, and grant us your salvation. And upon the earth, distress of the nations, in perplexity at the roaring of the sea and the waves, men fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud of power and great glory. Now, when these things begin to take place, Look up and raise your head, because your redemption is drawing near. But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares of this life. That day will come upon you suddenly like a sneer, for it will come upon all who dwell upon the face of the earth. A watch at all times. Praying to have strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be the Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga po, Father. Ngayong napapansin ninyo na nagpalitbis na ang ating simbahan. Mula ngayon hanggang sa susunod pang tatlong linggo ay panayigila ang kulay ng ating mga palamuti mula sa altar hanggang sa ambo hanggang sa table na computator at ngayon nakalagay na rin ang ating mga advent candle. Batid natin ang ibig sabihin ng adyento ay pagdating. Dalawa klaseng pagdating ang pinapakita ng ating mga pagbasa ngayon at ang susunod pang pagbasa sa apat na linggo nito. Ang unang dalawang linggo ay nagpapahayag ng paghihintay sa pagdating ng ating Panginoong Isus sa wakas ng panahon. Ang ikatlo at ikaapat na linggo naman ay maghahanda sa atin ang paghihintay sa pagpanalariwa natin ng pagsilang ni Isus. Pero huwag na huwag natin kalilimutan ng pagdating ng Panginoon ay hindi lamang naiiwan sa dalawang bahagi ng 
kundi meron din kaganapan ng pagdating ni Jesus na nasa kalagitnaan nito. Ang pagdating ni Jesus ay naroon din sa panahon ng araw-araw. Madalasan iniisip natin kapag dumating ang Panginoon, taglay niya ang biyaya. At totoo naman, pagdating ni Jesus sa ating buhay ay nagdudulat ng biyaya para sa ating pamilya, sa trabaho, sa negosyo, sa ating pagkapwa-tao. Pero, huwag natin kalilimutan na pagpanahon ng pagsubo na itatanong natin, Panginoon, nasan ka? Panginoon, bakit ang iniwan? Panginoon, bakit tanimit ka? Panginoon, hindi kita nararamdaman. Panginoon, bakit po ako iniwan? Pero sa totoo lang, ang presensya ng Panginoon ay gayon din katindi kahit panahon man ng biyaya o panahon man ng pagsunod. Para lang kung meron panahon ng pagsusunod, para na examination period din yan. Hindi ko ba kapag tayo nag-e-exam, nariyan ang proctor, nariyan ang nagpapa-exam, pero pansinin natin, hindi nag-iingay ang nagpapa-exam. Hindi nagbubulo ang nagpapa-exam. Naroon siya, ngunit tahimik lamang ang kanyang presensya. Habang nagaganap ang pagsunod. Mga minamahal na kapatid, Jesus is as much as present both in times of blessings and times even of great trials. The Lord is always present. The Lord is never absent. Kaya po mga minamahal na kapatid, number one, let us take watch. Let us watch out. The Lord is present as much as in the time of blessings, as much as it is in the time of trial. Ikalubang din sa atin na ibinapakita sa atin ang ating mga pag-asa. Nalala mo yung isang kasamang pari, isang araw ng Pasko, niregaluhan siya ng isang uh, mga minimisa niya sa kapilya ng isang regalo na nababalot sa napakagandang kapalat. Sa sobrang ganda, tuwa niya. Sabi niya, ako Jimmy, bubuksan mo nalang ko pag may special occasion. So, tinabi niya sa kanyang cabinet, isang buwan, dalawang buwan, lumipas ang anit na buwan. Nung tinignan niya ulit, kasi may hinahanap siya sa cabinet, nakita niya, Naku, naku, nakalimutan mo na ito, napakagat ang regalo. Napakagat ang pabalat nito, tingnan natin kung ano nasa loob. Hulaan niyo, nasa loob. Clue. Four letter word. Clue. Nagsisimula sa B. Final clue. Nagtatapos sa O. Maraming nagsabi sa akin, Father, ano po na? Coco! Mga kapatid, Biko. Biko ang laman ng napakagandang nakabalot na regalo ko. Uma, ate ka po, di ko. Kaya lang po, bulok na ang di ko. Six months na, imagine nyo, di ko na nasa bulok, nabilib na lugar, na anin na buwan. Bulok na di ko. Sabi ko pa naman, sayang, na-enjoy na sana natin ang di ko. Wala na, bulok na, hindi na natin mapapakinabang. My dear friends, sometimes we are so wrapped up with daily living. We are wrapped up with our concerns with daily life. We forget. We are so busy making a living. We forget instead to make a life. Minsan na dahil tayo na naubumaling sa kung anong meron sa present, we forget the future that is imminent. Yes, We have this one life to live, yes. But we must not forget there is eternal life as well that is waiting for us. That the present is simply a preparation to make the best of what is still coming. That the best is yet to be. Dear friends, beware of being wrapped up with the present, forgetting that there is a greater future is at hand. 
finally, Jesus reminds us of the importance of being able to wait. To wait patiently. Si San Lucas po ay sumulat ng kanyang Ebanghelyo. Dalawampung taon na matapos si sulat ng Ebanghelyo ayon kay San Marcos, ang unang Ebanghelista na ay sulat. Nung sinabi ito ni Jesus ang kanyang panawagan na kanyang pagbabalik, ang una ang isa sa mga sinabi niya ay ang pagkagunaw ng templo ng Jerusalem. Pero may sampung taon na nakalipas ng guru ang Jerusalem bilang isang templo. At ang mga kasyano, naman, nananalabing na sa pagdating ni Jesus, nagtatanong, narating pa ba si Jesus? Nagunaw na yung templo at dito pa rin tayo ang lakad. Kung gayon naman pala, eh di, wag na lang. There's no point in waiting. Let's go on with our normal daily lives. We don't care. Kaya, nang sumulat si San Lucas, given the benefit of hindsight, ito ang kanya sinula. Take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and the cares of life, that the day will come upon you suddenly like a snare, for it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the earth. Mga minaman na kapatid, the best things in life come to those who are always willing to wait. Nothing good that comes out of life that does not include a great amount of waiting. Kung nais yung magkaanak at magkabutis na si Mrs., siyang magwala ang nangyay. Gusto mo magtapos ang pagdodoktor at pagkabukas siya kung manda ka sa sampung taon. Kung nais mo na kung nais mo na masarap na pagkain, hindi naman nakukuha yan sa mabilisan unless ipagrap mo na lang siguro, mas mabilis yan. My dear friends, things that are worthwhile will always be far waiting, but not just any kind of waiting. The Lord reminds us to wait, to wait in prayer. St. Paul reminds us to wait while doing charitable works. To wait to, with a life of holiness. To wait using our lives to the best of our ability to improve the lives of others and people around us. We are not simply made to wait, but to love while waiting. To serve while waiting. To act in holiness while waiting. So my dear friends, let us remember to watch out, to wait, and more importantly, to be avoid being wrapped up only with the person that is in front of us. Pagpalain tayo ng Panginoon Diyos, Diyos at Diyos. Please rise for the professional friend. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, to God from to God, begotten not made, but substantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
Let us draw near to the heart of our Heavenly Father, that in the season of that, we may awaken from our unfaithfulness and neglect. With hearts full of trust, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the Church may tirelessly encourage and empower the flock entrusted to them in their faithfulness, witnessing to the Gospel values, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials and those who are in public office may devotedly protect the sacredness of life and the dignity of all human persons. We pray. That our country and our people may rise above the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic and be given the grace of healing, protection, and confidence to continue living in hope. We pray. That all of us gathered here today may be of one mind and heart in helping our needy brothers and sisters, those who are least, last, and lost in our community. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That our departed brothers and sisters may rest in God's dwelling place and be given the promises of the resurrection. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayer of your people. May the coming of Christ find a steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and untiring in love. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He has shown that His first coming, the loneliness of human flesh, He so fulfilled the design He formed all of the world, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. But when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now bear to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we do appear. For this is my body, which will be given up for me. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me. For this is a chalice of your blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. Francis, our Pope, our sister, our Bishop, and only our auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who are all asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of peace and throughout the ages, we may be able to be co heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through to Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, O God, Almighty Father, forever and ever.
Jesus taught us about our Father and so we have the courage to do.
with your spirit. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son, and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with His blessing. Amen. As you run the race of His present life, may He make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, may you be endowed with a rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty. Amen. May the blessing of the Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed Sunday, everyone.